started on the neck area and just worked our way up. Now sometimes people do experience a little bit of a pinchy feeling um, as we go into the lip area. So I'm gonna turn the um, depth of the needles to a more shallow depth. Try to make that a little more comfortable. But otherwise, I mean, even your cheeks, they first got a little bit pink, but it's already subsiding. Okay. How does it feel, Jamie? It's fine, that numbing is really kicked in. I don't feel anything. Here, our many women as they age, they get what we call smoker's lines. Even if they've never smoked a day in their life, we tend to get these little vertical lines going down towards our lips. And so this is a great treatment to help build up that collagen in that area and smooth those lines out. I have a growth factor. Now Jamie will take this uh, remaining amount of growth factor home with her. So once she gets home, she'll cleanse her skin gently um, because I will put a sunblock on her before she leaves. So she'll want to remove that, that sunblock once she gets home. In each hour, she'll apply this growth factor. She'll also have some remaining hyaluronic acid that she'll go home with too, which will help, help supplement any moisture. Um, so she'll do that each hour until it's used up, usually by bedtime. And at that point, she can put a, a moisturizer on. Because the skin will feel a little bit dry. So once we get to the nose area, it's not that it's painful, but all of the vibration from the microneedling can be a little bit overwhelming. So I told Jamie earlier that um, sometimes people experience the sensation of needing to sneeze. And if she needed to sneeze, <laughs> just <laughs> alert me with some type of body language and I will back off. I am going to, since this is her first treatment, I am gonna decrease the depth of the needling. I'm gonna start on the side of the nose. How's that, Jamie? It's fine so far. Okay. You're a tough cookie. She is. <laughs> looks like it, I mean, like you said, it looks like it doesn't even bother you. So with microneedling, the point of it is to create a little controlled injury to the skin. We're creating little micro channels and then infusing this growth factor. So as the skin begins to heal itself, it's basically remodeling itself and um, the collagen begins to accelerate. So it reaches its peak of acceleration at the six week mark. So typically that's when we want to do another session. If someone had a lot of congestion in their skin, comedones, milia, um, just more advanced cases, then I encourage them to do, my, uh, excuse me, hydrofacial at the three week point in between the microneedling sessions. For the purpose of deep cleansing those pores, keeping them nice and clean as the, the collagen is remodeling the skin, so that way those pores can just rebuild themselves and we'll get an optimum result. How are you on the forehead? Just a little more sensitive. Yes, this is definitely the area that people um, feel a little more sensation. And that's one of the reasons we save it for last because you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So right now I just have the needles set at a depth of 0 0.5 millimeter. I was up to a 1.5 on her cheeks, so you can just see the difference that that it makes when we go over skin that's taut against the bone versus a more softer area. Jamie, if you could describe what it feels like, what does it feel like mm -hmm. on the forehead? Um, like sandpaper. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. That's a good description. Mm -hmm. Another beauty of this treatment is that we can get 
closer in to that lower lash line to work little fine lines underneath the eyes. So we're gonna do that. Just got Damien, close your eyes for me. And a little shower. So this helps with those pesky little crow's feet. Just building those up and filling those fine lines in. A little more serum over here just to provide some slip. This allows for the microneedling pen to glide over the skin easier and make it more comfortable for Jamie. Okay. Well, is there any other area of concern that you want me to focus on and go back and I don't see any area of concern either. If someone had acne scarring that we were really trying to revise, we would probably go back and hit that area again at this point. You know, the only place that she's a little, you know, where we see some erythema is down here on the neck area. That's the only place that she really seemed to experience some little bit of discomfort. Mm -hmm. It was more of a stingy sensation. Yeah. I think that's how yeah. you described it. And, um, but otherwise, you're not pink at all, so. Okay, good. You look great. All right. Okay, so we're done with that. We're just gonna get her cleaned up. We'll apply one more application of Growth Factor and a physical sunblock, and um, she will be on her way. All right. Okay.